G'day YouTubers, welcome to this week's episode. Sorry we've been a bit slow on the episodes, we've been uh, busy doing nothing, and uh, that's how I pretty well like it. Yeah, so um, on this week's episode we get to, um, it's our first week out in the bush. Um, you'll see a bit of our care stay that we had uh, down in Geraldton. Um, we had fun down there, met some nice people down there. And now we're up on the station, um, been out exploring for the week. Haven't found any gold yet, but uh, had lots of fun. We've had rain over the last couple of days, so we're rained in at the moment. So Mrs. Fat's busy doing a couple of videos up for you. Um, and also on this week, you'll see our friends at uh, Blue Eddy have sent us out a PV350 solar panel. So 350 watt solar panel, and that's a duck start, so it's really working well. So I uh, hope you enjoy it and uh, hopefully we can uh, get amongst the gold soon and uh, start putting some gold videos up. Take it easy. Cheers. Yeah. What's going on? <laughs> well, apparently we've lost a couple of cows couple of balls so we're going out to do uh see what we can catch here's old marzanio and There you go, campers. Yeah, well, anyway, found the missing cows and uh, the bulls, actually. A couple of bulls down there. We'll give you a close up in a minute. And uh, yeah, called it in, and uh, dogs will be down here soon. They'll rustle them up and we'll take them back to where they're supposed to be. Bloody bulls. It's bulls. Bulls. <laughs> Job done. Yeah. Anyway, so it was, that only took an hour, so we can go and camp back up for another week. Cheers. <sighs> Just bringing the bulls back home so they can uh, keep the cows company. Cows are looking pretty happy. Yeah, happy days. Bundy's not happy. She wants to uh, get out and chase the cows. <clears throat> oh, I've got a beautiful spot here where we're staying. It's so lovely. Backs onto the Greenith River here and um, yeah, beaut spot. Homestead in the shed up there. Just run up through this gate here. Oh, you're getting the work up now. You can see the cows, see? Come on, boys. Yeah. Boys. You're getting a bit excited now, you can smell that cow. Young bro sprint down there and the old ball just take his time. Oh, there's a lot of them. Absolutely, he'll, he'll sort them out. Job done. 
Madrid. Oh, yeah. Here's Mrs. Fat going down to give uh, Clarence the cow a pat. And um, she's probably checking out them big gonads on that bull there. You've got a set of fucking nads on him. And, uh, yeah. It's another day at the farm, eh? Bloody hell. Cows everywhere. Well, it doesn't look too like she's too interested in giving him a pat. Oh, I hope this big one rubs over the fence here. He might knock the fence over and chase her. <laughs> Jeez, that'd be funny. Uh, oh, Clarence. Big old brown bulls. Chased a couple of them in from the back paddock today. They, got, they escaped. And uh, they were pretty happy by the time they got down to the cows. Yeah, that big one there. You've got a set of nads on that fella. Have a look at them. Uh, uh, this is Lemonberry. Oh, see ya. There we go, we're down on the river and uh, Mrs. Fat's going out for a little uh, kayak. She left a big sup at home, so we bought a big, uh, oh, cheapy from BCF, 100 bucks on a special little kayak for her. So she can have fun with that. Won't see her for a couple of hours now, she loves the water. And I'm just going to sit up here and uh, I might um, see if I can get the cricket turned in on the ABC and uh, listen to the Warriors. All right, see ya, mates. Beautiful spot. How lucky are we? This river runs through the property that we're farm sitting. So cool watching the working dogs in action.
in a quick little swingy dingy on the way as you do you know what I mean and um, yeah see how we go so hopefully we get to catch you with a bit of gold hang on Bundy the old bastard's driving and um, yeah take it easy see you on the next bit eh cheers peeps Yeah. Oh well, we've been out of this spot here for a while now. Done quite a few hours, we haven't got anything, just a little bit of rubbish. But um, good to get the muscles back into it and uh, 
the flies are a bit friendly out here. Rocky. Uh, I hate wearing a fly net, but you have to wear them here. I'll suck your face off a little bastards. Anyway, there's Mrs. Fat. She's having a little swingy dingy. Looks like she's heading back towards the car as well. Time to pack up and uh, go for another spot. All right, see you, peeps. Yeah, it's going fucking good. A bit lost, but that's okay. We're we'll always getting fucking lost, aren't we? <laughs> There's no tractor here, but we're just going to see if we can drive through this spring here. We're going to fucking pop into the bollocks. At least there's plenty of trees to um, winch ourselves out. G'day YouTubers, how's it going? Well, we've got the PV350 uh, from Blue Eddy they sent up the other day and um, I've just plugged it in and um, we've got it charging the AC70 um, power unit. Great little um, unit this from Blue Eddy. Not sure if you can see, you got roughly 250 That's watts here. coming in, up to 300. Yeah, so 360 watts coming in, 350 watts coming in. The great thing about the PV350, um, which you need to check which which Blue Eddy unit you've got. We've got the AC70 at the moment. That's the one that we're using. Um, and that can take up to 500 watts of solar. So that can handle the PV350. And the good thing about the PV350 compared to like a 200 or something like that, it just charges the solar. Uh, the, Bluetti AC70 up a lot quicker. So, so far, everything's working as it should be. So, currently we're, um, the sun's under a bit of cloud, but when it, so it's bouncing around from about 150 watts right up to 350 watts uh, when the sun gets out of the cloud. Um, so that will charge that within about an hour from half. So two hours, that'll be fully charged. So it's not much different than um, running the AC. So when you charge it with the AC, it only takes a couple of hours from um, down low. 
So the, the standard cord that comes with the Bluetti uh, has MC4 connectors on it. So if you didn't want to go Anderson to Anderson like what we do, you would just plug the MC4 connectors from your solar panel straight into the charging lead um, through the Bluetti and that'll charge up and then you don't have to worry about it. Um, so if you were camping out and you're just running this unit with a solar panel, you wouldn't need a, uh, Anderson plugs or anything like that. You would just um, hook it up as, as designed. That's about it. We're really happy with the AC70. Um, as you can see, all our leads off. We charge all our, our electronics on it every night for our detecting. Um, see, that's come popped out of this cloud, so you're getting 300 odd watts out of it now. Um, and um, everything's working really well. So they, this charges up all our electronics for our detecting and everything else. And also, if we have a couple of cloudy days, we just plug the Starlink into it. Uh, makes it so much easier than um, taking uh, power out of the caravan. So this is the third product that we've got from Blue Eddy. Um, never had an issue with any of them. They all work perfect as uh, specified and designed. And um, we've had the AC70 about six months yeah. and it hasn't missed a beat. Um, it's it's working so so well. We uh, passed on the EB3A, so we don't have that anymore. Um, so now we just that's the only unit that we use. So with the P, the PV350 solar panels, they all fold up easy. So far so good. It it, it powers our um, Blue Eddy AC70, and it hooks into the van and gives us an issue, uh, additional 350 watts of solar panel to combine our 450 on the roof. So happy days, we're happy campers. Uh, all as we need is continual sun uh, forever and a day and we'll be happy. All right, see you peeps.